Hello y'all, I am back again for another video along with being back on my exercise bike. So this video is going to be about when a narcissist says it's expensive. Mind you that when a narcissist says it's expensive, they will usually say this more than once. It will be a pattern of behaviors, comments that are made, simple things, y'all. It's expensive. It's just expensive, y'all. The word will be thrown around. And I promise you this. The narcissist also does not really understand what expensive is and what it means. So here we go. The narcissist says it's expensive, y'all. So this will be something that's said oftentimes. You got to remember, a narcissist is a taker. That's it. They don't care who they take from. Okay, a, a narcissist can have thousands and thousands of dollars and have someone that's literally in poverty, living in the projects, not saying that because you live in the projects, that's bad, but that's just where someone sometimes lives, but can have very high morals and have a lot of class. When I say someone is low class or high class, I just wanna state this. On this channel, it has nothing to do with your income. It has to do with your behaviors, and your morals and the way you move through life. That's low class or high class to me. It's, it has nothing to do with your income. And the reason I say this is I've been around many people throughout my life and I've been around people that have a lot of money, but they're very low class. I've been around people that don't have a lot of money and they're very high class. So, but a lot of people that may have more money will feel like they are above people just because that of that. But if they're a high class person with money, they don't think that they're above people just because of their money. That makes a rich person high class too. I have money, but I'm not above you. I'm not better than you just because I have this money. Because someone that high class that is high class understands that money can be wiped away tomorrow. Bad business move, bad business transaction, uh, the worst robbery, that money can be gone within 24 hours. So with this being said, when the narcissist says it's expensive, because I have a playlist, you know, called the lab experiment. And so this talks about a particular narcissist um, that I was actually involved with at one point. And the mindset of this man and the manipulation, and you may hear this term when narcissists say something is expensive. They'll also do it in your friendships. You don't have to ever have been intimate with the narcissist. This narcissist could be your neighbor, your coworker, um, a friend from high school, a friend from college, wherever you met this narcissist throughout your life or during your life, a narcissist can play the same move with, oh, it's just so expensive. So what the narcissist is really saying when they say it's expensive, they're saying they don't want to do anything for you. However, if you take a narcissist out to eat, and it's just you two, and that bill comes to 80 to to $100. You can say, okay, that may be costly. It depends on how you look at money. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, if I go above $50, that's a little bit more costly when I go out to eat. It just depends on how you look at it. I just look at it like, do I have the money today or do I not? Okay. I have a window or a cap of what I can spend and I can't spend. I know that if I take someone out to eat, it's just me and them and I'm paying for it. I would rather that bill not go over a hundred dollars. I already understand that I'm not the one to be taking somebody out 
and it's just me and that person and it's a $300 meal, okay? Now, there's been rare occasions where it's happened that way, but it's rare. And the reason is, for one, I don't believe in just wasting money, okay? I'm not into gluttony. I'm not excessively eating. The restaurant that I'm going to may be pretty affordable. Say you're going out to a nice Mexican restaurant. I love Mexican restaurants, y'all. So me and this person should be able to get a nice meal for under $100. $80, leave a $10, $15 tip. So you may notice patterns like this. So I'm, I'm going to give you a real life, a real life pattern, a real, real, real life. Uh, y'all, I'm tripping. Um, I'm on my exercise bike. So um, a real life situation is what I meant to say. So I apologize. So if you take the narcissist out for their birthday or some kind of event, okay, you pay, you take you and the narcissist out. Okay. It may be a situation where the narcissist wasn't, didn't have a lot of supply that day. Nobody cares about their birthday. They just buy themselves and alone. You feel sorry for them. Hey, I'll take you out. So Another occasion, you're out, you pick up an item for the narcissist. Okay, here you go. You can have this. Another occasion, the narcissist gets sick. Okay, me and my family will drop off this sweet tea and noodles and stuff like this for you, some lemons. Hope you get well, okay? So, and by the way, y'all, that's something I got to do. As soon as I get off this video, I, I got to do that same thing for my family member that's here that's not feeling too well. So this video won't be too long just because of that. Okay, so with that being said, even after doing these things for the narcissist, the narcissist may mention, and this could be a female narcissist or a male narcissist. The narcissist may point out that it's expensive to go out to eat. But what the narcissist is really saying is it's expensive when they paying for it. But if you paying for it, it's not expensive. This is a total user. So another situation arose. I had to go into town about 27 miles away. So with traffic being good, that drive 27 miles away can actually be any, it's it's up to basically an hour drive. Let's say this is about a 45 minute drive to an hour. So more like an hour, okay? That's usually how long this particular location that I have gone to and just went to takes. About 27 miles, y'all. So I caught an Uber there and it was $70. So the narcissist says, Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> that, and it's how they talk, y'all. Watch out for these kind of people. But in the meantime, I, I do videos about these type of situations. I'm in pretty much a no contact. I, I stay out of this individual's face, but I can at least do a video about it. So, and I don't have these type of people around me. People that be talking all crazy like that, I keep them out of my face. And the reason I do it is because, for one, I wasn't raised like that. Two, I understand your budget. So if you come to me and say, hey, this is the amount of income I have. This is what I can't afford. I respect the budget. I respect the saver. I get it. But the way narcissists talk is so extreme. But this is what crossed my mind. The narcissist, and to me, because I was a prior driver, $70 to take somebody 27 miles away, that's an hour drive. And remember, they got to pay their gas money because it's their business to come get you. You don't know how far they had to come to come get you. They may have almost had to drive 30 minutes to an hour just to come get you. They come pick you up in a luxury vehicle 
two to three people can sit in their vehicle and it's still the $70. 27 miles over an hour drive, the gas and the wear and tear on their vehicle. So I look at things from a business perspective. They ain't charging you $500. They didn't charge you $270. And that's not a bad deal. Just a straight up cab would charge approximately $82 for that same mileage, 27 miles. So I noticed this pattern with the narcissist behavior. And a lot of times, um, narcissists is trying to convert y'all. So the narcissist sees, okay, this person, this friend took me out for a nice dinner. It was my birthday. Narcissists, they just don't want to reciprocate. They want you calling them every month, what you did for their birthday. They want you calling them or whatever event, Valentine's Day or whatever it is that you took them out for. They want you to do that for them every month. Okay, a narcissist is inconsiderate and greedy and they really don't know what expensive is. And because they think like this, they won't notice this. Wow, I've been paying $300 on this car for the last 10 years and really could have paid off two to three vehicles because they're paying so much interest in these car loans. So a narcissist never really understands what truly expensive is. So I'm looking at the narcissist like, cause see, when you're around narcissists, you know some of their business too. You know that that's a car payment they paying you know they've been paying on that freaking car payment the last 10 years. You know how many times that car done broke down. You know that they don't have any warranty on that vehicle potentially. So they're paying out of pocket for these repairs. So the narcissist can't even see what's right in front of him or her, that that's expensive. Throwing all your money away on interest by the time you get through paying on that car loan, that SUV loan and the interest, you could have took cash and went to the dealership and paid and bought off three vehicles and paid off three vehicles. You could have three vehicles in your driveway. Not to say that they are brand new, but that's expensive. Interest is expensive. But the narcissist, you will never hear them talk about their situations as expensive. But... $70 to me is fair when you're going 27 miles away and it's an hour drive, up to an hour drive. And this is a, a stranger picking you up that's running their business. This ain't your mom and daddy picking you up where they just charging you just for the gas. Your mom or dad or your relatives live next door to you and stuff like that. So I agree. A lot of things in this world may be quite costly, but in my opinion, that $70 is a fair cost due to the things I named in the video. So what the narcissist is, is low class and ghetto, y'all. So you take a narcissist out to eat, they gonna call you at two or three in the morning asking you if you wanna go ride with them to the drive-thru. Okay. So, and don't go, you know, if you take a narcissist out to eat and that's the last time you saw that narcissist and you paid for that narcissist food, don't go with that food through the drive-thru. What the narcissist wants to do is reduce you to their level. When you take a narcissist out to eat and you pay for it, the narcissist might even be envious that you have enough class to treat somebody like that. Because remember how I describe low class and high class. It has nothing to do with you being rich in my mind. I know some so-called people with money, high class, whatever. They couldn't do one video without cussing on every video. I use profanity on some of my videos, but I'm just talking about they couldn't even do a video without cussing. It would be like impossible because they got money, but they full blown no class because also high class, you have some balance y'all. 
cuss here and there, but it ain't just your everyday thing. It should be a day that go by where you don't use profanity. You should understand the appropriate time to use profanity and not use profanity. So that's the thing. So when narcissists say it's expensive, I'll mock how sometimes they talk. Ooh, $70. Ooh, that's expensive. You pay $70. And they rent $3,000, you all And they don't own it. They, they don't see that as expensive, though. Like, man and woman, come on. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, the narcissist does not truly understand what expensive means. And you know how I am with words. So let's get a better understanding of the word expensive. So I'm going to look up the word expensive right now. And we're going to delve into what it says in the dictionary. Okay. Because I also, I threw out the word costly. And, um, Narcissists, when they talk like this, y'all, it's a, um, a dead energy. So, okay, something costing a lot of money. Um, but like I said, that's why I said narcissists don't understand what expensive means because, okay, here's the catch 22. Expensive means costing a lot of money. But for me, $70 to go 27 miles away to have a luxury driver that allows two to three people to be in the vehicle, that's reasonable. Now, expensive for me would be if they charge me over $100 or 200 or more. That would be expensive. Because for one, they're not picking me up in a limousine. They're not picking me up in an airplane. So it also matters what they're picking you up in. And so, like I said, the narcissist don't understand what expensive is. Because for one, like I said, I was a driver before. So I drove, I, I delivered medical supplies. I drove for a transportation company and that just ain't expensive because you got to look at how that money split. Okay. You're paying $70, but some of that went to gas. Some of that went to the transportation company they work for. Um, some of that goes to the driver. There's all these taxes and fees and um, all kind of fees involved. So, you pay $70, but that driver may have only gotten anywhere from $30 to $50 for that ride. Keep that in mind. That entire $70 is not going with the transportation company I use. I know that that $70 does not all go to the transportation, to the driver, I mean. It just doesn't. The driver... At the most, the driver will get at least half of that $70, okay? Or I would say anywhere from $30 to $50 of that $70. So just knowing business. So the narcissist, when they say stuff is expensive, stay out of these people's face, y'all. Um, narcissists are a dead energy, and what they're really saying is... They're doing this. When narcissists talk like that around you and they be, ooh, that's expensive. Ooh, that's expensive. For one, they don't want you to ask them for nothing. Okay. They're setting a standard. Don't ask me for nothing. Okay. Two, they're also not looking at their own expenses in the right way because a narcissist does not truly understand what expensive is. Three, because they view things in this way, they're probably not saving as much money as you think they are because viewing something as expensive does not necessarily mean they're budgeting their money properly because the narcissist may look at that transportation cost as expensive because I'm paying for it. However, that narcissist may not look at 
all the liquor and drugs that they buy every week that's adding up to $200 a week. That shit ain't expensive though. You feel me? So narcissists don't know what expensive is. They just don't. And when you hear people talk like this, I don't care if they live in the projects and they make $50 a month and that's all they bring it in. Get the hell away from them because they are what I would consider low class and they don't understand money and they don't understand how to treat people and the narcissist will not and cannot understand what truly expensive is. It's a tactic. It's a mentality that they have. It's a selfishness that they have. And at the end of the day, when they talk like that, in the beginning, when they talk like that around certain people, people will cater to them and buy them stuff, feed them for free, and the narcissist will not reciprocate because the narcissist is selfish. And this is some of the language that they will use. And it, it should come, and like I said, for me, this narcissist spoke like this more than once. He spoke like this when he was speaking of um, going out to eat. He spoke like this when I had that $70 transportation cost. I was already at my location, but the narcissist was like, how much was that or whatever? Somehow it came in the conversation, the cost of that. And the narcissist was just ghetto and low class with the language. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Oh my Lord. And I'm, I'm listening like this fool is crazy, right? And so I don't go around. Um, I, I stay from away from these kind of people. Um, that's just not my kind of people. I've been around a lot of different people in a lot of different walks of life coming from the projects to mansions. Some of them began in the projects, some of them didn't. And they just didn't talk like that. It's just not classy. Okay. And also just understand really what they mean. They mean that they telling you this, y'all. They saying this. I'm the type of person. This is what they saying about themselves, not me. They saying I'm the type of person. I don't believe that anyone on earth is worth paying shit for. That's what the narcissist is saying. They saying this, if it ain't something for them, they believe it's too damn expensive. Now, if that narcissist vehicle was broke down or was stranded or whatever, and he had to pay that same $70 to get himself where he was going or herself where she's going, it's suddenly not expensive. It's only expensive when it comes to you. And it's expensive when they got to pay it for anybody, including their own immediate relatives. It could be their nieces, nephews, and grandkids. It's all expensive. And that's why they end up in these nursing homes with nurses that then called in sick and the narcissist reaching down with their hand to figure out how to get this stuff off their behind. That is how that happens because everything is so expensive so they don't believe in investing in anybody. And normally with these kind of narcissists, they will be um, loners, be to themselves. As they age and become the aging narcissists, they will be in their nice, clean homes. Nobody coming to see them. Ain't nobody inter interested in coming to see them. Um, any old supplies that they had ain't answering their phone. Um the people that used to take them out and cater to them and spend money on them don't do it anymore. So every dog has their day, y'all. And this is just how I feel. I got to take my family member to the store. Um, my family member got a little runny nose and stuff like that. So I got to take care of my family, y'all. I love y'all so, so much. And well, I was going to mention one more thing. Yeah, don't vibe with these kind of people. And another reason I want to advise you not to, I don't know how many of y'all suffer with depression. I am usually able to control that spirit, 
because I believe staying too sad too long in a lot of situations ain't what God would want for you. So I believe for people that um, suffer with a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, whatever you're struggling with, I truly believe that having someone around you that speaks like this, it's a depressing poverty type spirit. I don't believe it's healthy to have anyone around you that's making you feel like you are not worth $70 or $100. You're worth so much more. You can't even put money on what a human being is worth. Like this particular situation um, at the Galveston Jail. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Down in Texas, this lady just got beat to death by... I think the jail staff, they haven't, um, they don't have the video yet, but that Gavinston jail down there is um, horrific. I don't, I don't even live in Texas, but God forbid, I would not ever want to enter that jail. I mean, this jail way up on the West coast has a reputation. Now we all know that Gavinston jail harms and kills inmates. Okay. So with that being said, in these type of situations, um, what was my, let me see what my total point about that is. Um, I'm trying to think of why, why I even brought that up. Y'all, I'm on this bike and I'm, there's this dog barking and I'm just totally off focus. But um, yeah, the, my whole point was this. You can't put money on a life. Okay, you can you should be compensated if someone takes your family member's life. But even if they pay $20 million for this sister that just got beat to death in Gavinston jail, she's still worth more than that money because there's no money that you could put on a life. That was my point. So please like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, if you suffer with um, depressions, anxiety, and stuff like that, especially depression, um, it can trigger anxiety. For me, that wouldn't too much trigger anxiety, but it's just unhealthy to have around you. So don't have people around you that speak like that. You want to have um, people around you, no matter what their income level is, they have a um, high class way of speaking that's very positive and they have um, good attitudes about money. They have an understanding of money and budgeting, but they have a good attitude about it and stay clear because if you suffer with depression, talking to someone with that type of nature that thinks everything is expensive, only if it really has to do with other people, because it's like a game they playing. Don't interact with them. And also you need to understand this, understand that helping them is even more expensive. So if they think helping you is expensive or what you're doing is expensive, reverse that and consider them just as expensive. When you talk to them and take up your time speaking with them, that's expensive. You don't have the time. Your time is money as well. Don't waste your time on these narcissists. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I love y'all so, so much. Thank you. Bye.